Welcome this evening to Chapel Hill, and welcome to the first of the four weeks of the Wednesday evening prayer services that we will have. It's a time at the close of the day on Wednesday midweek for us to connect and reconnect, a time for us to focus and refocus our lives in prayer, a time in which we will seek comfort and peace of our Lord in this season that seems pretty chaotic. It's a time for us together to discern God's direction in this season and to know the hope of our Lord Jesus Christ in the midst of all that's going on in the world. I'm glad you chose to join us this first night, and I pray that it will be a night that will lead to the other nights to follow of peace and hope for you and joy and a sense of serenity in your hearts. Let us join together in our proclamation of light. Light and peace in Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Please bow with me in prayer. Creator God, you summon the day to dawn, and the evening rejoices to come at your call. For you, the valleys shall sing for joy. The trees of the field shall clap their hands. For you, the kings and queens of the earth will bow. The poor and the persecuted will cry out for joy. Your love and mercy shall last forever. Fresh as the morning, sure as the sunrise. Great is your name, and great is your love. And they all said, Amen. Please join me in singing. Our scripture, as we close this day, is from Psalm 90. Hear these words that are attributed to Moses. As you listen, listen with your hearts open as you hear these words. 
Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth, or ever you have formed the earth and the world, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. You turn us back to dust and say, Turn back, you mortals, for a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past, or like a watch in a night. You sweep them away, they are like a dream, like grass that is renewed in the morning. In the morning it flourishes and is renewed, in the evening it fades and withers. For we are consumed by your anger, by your wrath we are overwhelmed. You have set our iniquities before you, our secret sins in the light of your countenance. For all our days pass under your wrath, our years come to an end like a sigh. The days of our life are 70 years, or perhaps 80. If we are strong, even in their span, is only toil and trouble. They are soon gone, and we fly away. Who considers the power of your anger? Your wrath is as great as the fear that is due you. So teach us to count our days, that we may gain a wise heart. Relent, O Lord. How long will it be? Have compassion on your servants. Satisfy us in the morning with your steadfast love so that we may rejoice and be glad all our days. Make us glad as many days as you have afflicted us, as many years as as we have seen evil. Let your work be manifest to your servants and your glorious power to their children. Let the favor of the Lord our God be upon us and prosper for us the work of our hands. O oh, prosper the work of our hands. I would encourage you to join with me in a time of silence, reflecting upon these words, but especially upon the passage of this, the verses of this passage. Prosper the work of thy hands. Remember all those things that you've been about this week, this day. And also upon the words, so teach us to count our days, so we may gain a wise heart. Think of the ways your heart has been touched today, the way you've touched other people's hearts through the work of your hands. Let us be in a time of silence as we contemplate and meditate upon those holy words. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
heart of my own heart. We now enter into a time of prayer again. The prayer that I will pray and lead us in praying is a responsive prayer. My words when I pray, relent, O Lord, how long will it be? And your response will be, please have compassion on us. And this time I'd also remind you that you may submit your prayers and thoughts via chat. But this time I invite you to join with me in prayer. Let us pray together with our words and our hearts combined together in praise and worship of our Lord. We praise, O oh God, we praise you. For you are without beginning and without end. Through Christ you created the whole world. Through Christ you have preserved it. You made the day for the works of light and the night for refreshment of our minds and our bodies. So as we prepare to go into this night, we go in prayer. We go in prayer with us. Lord, you have given us a vision. You've given us a vision of a new life in the midst of death and pain. You've given us a vision of a new kingdom in the midst of the old world ways. You've given us a vision of hope in the midst of despair. We confess, Lord, on this night that we have struggled at times this day, perhaps this week and month, certainly, to focus upon that new vision. In the midst of all the chaos and all the change and all the challenges of this season, we have struggled to vision your kingdom in our lives. Relent, O oh Lord, how long will it be? Please have compassion on us. We have struggled to believe in your presence. In the midst of all that is going on, sometimes it seems that the chaos of the world has taken over. Our lives have been turned upside down. Our routines have been lost. Our pain is about us. The pain of the world is before us every day, Lord. Death. In the midst of that, we've struggled to see your presence because of all the other things that have distracted us. Relent, O oh Lord, how long will it be? Please have compassion on us. We have struggled to trust and hope in you. We have lost control that we thought we had, but probably never had. We have lost a sense of control. We've lost, some of us have lost a sense of purpose and direction. In the midst of all that, Lord, we've lost our trust and hope in you for moments. And so, relent, O oh Lord. How long will it be? Please have compassion on us. In the midst of our struggles, in the midst of our challenges, we know, Lord, in our heart of hearts that you offer grace equal to every need. You created this world out of chaos, and so as we live in the midst of chaos, we know, we know and trust that a new world is coming, a new way is bursting forth, we pray for you to give us eyes to see that world. Your love for us remains steadfast. It never ends. Regardless of the struggles that we face personally or spiritually, regardless of our failures and even our doubts, your love remains steadfast. We give thanks, Lord. We give thanks. And tonight, Lord, we lift before you the concerns of our hearts for others and ourselves. We pray for the leaders of our world, of our country, of our state, and of our city. 
We pray for the leaders of our churches, that you would grant them wisdom, grace, and hope. And now, Lord, we name them before you, each of us. Relent, O oh Lord, how long will it be? Please have compassion on us. We pray for the frontline workers that are tired and weary, the frontline workers that have been serving and caring for people in hospitals and all sorts of care facilities, the police, the, the workers that have continued to work to provide food for us, and all the other services. We pray for them to have your strength. We pray for them to have your courage. And now we name them before you in this time. Relent, O oh Lord. How long will it be? Please have compassion on us. We pray for, Lord, for those places and those people who are angry and confused. Places where violence has been erupting, where people have been hurting others. We pray, O oh Lord, for your peace in their minds and their hearts. We pray for peace in those communities that we name now, among those people that we know are hurting. We pray for your peace as we name them. Relent, O Lord. How long will it be? Please have compassion on us. We pray for those who are struggling with this illness, this virus, and all other illnesses. We pray for those whose loved ones have passed in these past weeks. We pray for the families, the families and friends who feel a deep and hard and hurtful loss. We pray for them to know your hope and your love. We pray for restoration and healing of those who are still suffering and will continue to suffer. And we lift them to you, Lord, by name in this time. Relent, O Lord. How long will it be? Please have compassion on us. We pray for families. Families who are facing new and difficult challenges in many ways. What at first, Lord, seemed to be nice to be together and to be home with our children and families. But now, oh Lord, this has drug on for a while. And for some of our families with children and many children, trying to educate them when we are not educators has been hard. We become stressed out having to be with each other in such close proximity at times. We pray for grandparents who are missing their grandchildren due to the separation. We pray they know of your love and hope. We pray that they would have some sense of our great memories that would carry them through this season until they can be reunited. We pray for peace in families that struggle. We pray for children and others who are affected by abuse. We lift them by name, all these situations, into your hands. Relent, O oh Lord. How long will it be Please have compassion on us. And we pray for our economy. 
for those who've lost jobs, for those who've been furloughed, for those who are dealing with work environments and expectations that are hard, and those who still have jobs but really don't have much work to do. We pray for those who are affected by teetering markets. We pray for those, all of us, all the world, that's impacted by the economic situation. And so we name our brothers and sisters who are hurting. We name our names as well. Relent, O Lord. How long will it be? Please have compassion on us. Open our hearts, Lord. Open our minds. Open them anew to you in this season. Keep us now in Christ. Grant us peace this evening and this night. Free us from sin and let us rest in you, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, with perfect assurance of your love and your hope that it might fill our hearts for this night and all the days ahead. As we pray to go to the prayer that you, Jesus, taught the first disciples to pray, and we now pray together as your body, the church. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.